Everybody. I just want to let you know that this is like 6.45 or whatever in the morning and the lineup is already this big. <laughs> this thing doesn't officially open until 7. <laughs> so you can imagine, it's going to be chaos. Alright everybody, so this is called the power of a ticket. This is the line for the group we're in. This is the line for the next most expensive ticket. And right over there is, that good? is the line for the others, if you know what I mean. So, even though we've had to line up to get this far, this definitely is worth it. Well, hi everybody. So this is now, let me see. So now about 10.30. And I've been upstairs in the ballroom seeing some big keynote speakers. but. You remember what it looked like yesterday and the place I was walking yesterday was down there, which you can probably see is just jam-packed. And this is the insanity they call VidCon. So there are so many people with their cameras. <laughs> Now the really cool thing is that somebody actually came up and I guess because I was an old fart or something, I'm not sure why, but they... Uh, Wait, we talked about some of the guys, what about the girls like Lauren Elizabeth? Came up to find out. Gen X 10? That sounds exciting. Who? JC? That's not a girl. Anyway, to find out who I was and what I did, and uh, turns out they really loved my story and they asked if they could interview me after the event, so that's going to be fun. Oh, look at that. A place without too many people. But they're coming in their thousands, people. By the way, the industry pass that you and I have, which is pretty expensive, there's no doubt about it. But the difference is it gets you into absolutely everything. Okay, this is so cute. Look at this. Obviously it's an optical illusion, but isn't it a great one? It's really cool. Okay, I gotta do that. It's already been here. Would you say into the camera? Would you say, and this is for you? Oh, is it okay? Is it going already? Yeah. Okay. And this is for you. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Sure. Alright, you can jump right in there. Anyway, so really, you've got two things going on here, right? You've got some awesome people. I've just listened to a couple of really good uh, speakers uh, talking about the industry, and I probably will share that with you after I get back when I'm doing my uh, vlogs in the car. Uh, they said some really good stuff. But the main thing to know is, this is the way of the future. Uh, we know that. We know it's the way of the present. But there's no doubt in my mind that this is the way of the future. I think if I live long enough, if I come back in 10 years, let me put it this way, when I come back in 10 years, I want one of those. How many of you know, I just, I tried to negotiate to get a ride on one of those, but he wouldn't let it go. I was very upset. You know I want you to play with it. Anyway, so the good news is, this is the way it's going. 
and it's so exciting to be part of it. Hi everybody, this is Dear Mama Sal again, and now I'm talking to... Uh, Emily. Emily and... Alex. Alice. And I found them sitting all by themselves, very quietly, and I asked them the question, are, are they waiting for somebody or just not knowing what to do next? And your answer was? Um, just, we don't know what to do next. Is it because there's too much here? Well, yeah, there's definitely a lot to do. So many things you want to do, it's right? a lot to see all at once, and yes. it's kind of hard to decide what to do, so you kind of sometimes got to take a break and decide what you want to do. Yeah, it's a good idea. So, I see you got some bands on. Who did you get to? Um, I have um, Charlie's with Blue Life, um, Tomska, and Jack's Okay, and? And I have Lauren Elizabeth, Jamie Curry, and Aspen Oberg. Okay, so... If you have the, if I have the two of you and three together, yeah. So you came here. What did you really just come for? To to see the people? Um, I, I came here. We came here last year together. I uh, met a friend who I've been talking to for the rest of the year. So we have internet friends. So she's coming here too. So I've been like, um, I came here to see you her. You think that over this noise they're going to hear you? <laughs> Probably. Talk not. into my camera more loudly. <laughs> Uh, last year I made a really good friend, and we've been talking throughout the whole year, and she's coming this year too, so I'm excited to see That's her. That's a good idea. It's worth coming just to meet a new friend, right? Yeah. Also, I'm coming with her also because of the friend, and also because I just really like to meet all of my favorite people that I see on the internet. Right. And are you going to be YouTubers? Is that your hope? Or are you already? Well, I, I would be great if I would, but I don't have the camera equipment, and, and I don't even have the social skills. No, 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 no. Excuse me. Okay, let me talk to you about this, all right? Um, you see this pathetic camera I have in my hand? <laughs> it's got me close to half a million views. Wow, good. Awesome. That's really good. Now then, do you understand what I'm saying to you? Don't you dare say you don't have the right camera or whatever. Get a camera. Start somewhere, all right? What would you like to do? Um, when I grow up? Yeah. Um, I, I don't know. It's, I've always been at like hops between things, but right now it's I either want to be a photographer or a writer. Okay, two very isolated jobs. Yeah. No, that's interesting. To, it tells me a lot about you. Okay, so you like to be in your own space. Sometimes. It's just, sometimes when it's a large amount of people, I get really overwhelmed and I have to be by myself. All right. Do you want to know why I came to talk to you? Sure. I'm the same. And I used to be a professional speaker, but you know something, it's fine when you're on stage. The crowds can get very scary. Yeah, definitely, especially here. So I saw you sitting here and I thought, I bet you they're interesting people. What do you want to do in your life? Same thing. Same thing. Okay, so what's really nice, I have to tell you this, as somebody who's been on both sides of it, what's really nice about YouTube is I can actually do what I used to do, but now without the crowds. I mean, they're out there, but I don't have to get dressed up and wear my thousand dollar suit for them, right? And so I think, I think all that we're doing now is gonna help you guys a great deal because you're gonna have a whole new way to market your products, you know, to write. I'm a writer as well, so I totally understand. So, you know, the whole business has changed since my day. So I wish you lots of luck with that. And by the way, just so that you know, sometimes sitting quietly on the side makes you far more interesting. That's really good advice. <laughs> Thank you. And the reason I tell you that is because I was upstairs in, in the fancy lounge there. Now you know I'm the only person over 30, I think, in the room. <laughs> but two young people came up, and I didn't know that they were who they were, and they said, you've got to be an interesting person. I said, I think so, yeah. Anyway, and so they were interviewing me, but they won't actually interview me now because, guess why? I'm about the only gray-haired person here, right? Um, and so you look at it and you go, sometimes just being who you are is more than enough. And I need you to remember that. Whenever you feel a little insecure, sit down and think about it because you'll never know who you'll attract. Make sense? Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. So don't ever, don't ever forget that. I mean, I'm 
Now the only problem is two things. One is you have to help me back up, and then I need a hug. Okay, okay. And a selfie. Okay, there you go. Here we go. Thank you. <laughs> they really did. Thank you so much. All right, Emily, my my coffee, and Alex. Uh, Alice, right? Alex. Okay. Alex. With the Spell it. K L E X. Alice. A L E S. X. Alex. <laughs> when you're deaf, you'll understand. All right. So here we are together. So when we put this vlog up, probably tonight, tomorrow, then I'll probably do a couple of shots of this as well. I'm here with Marzi and Craig. Now, you're going to really just crack up with this one. Um, Craig, his confession to me was that you are a what? Uh, facilitator. He's a cheerleader. <laughs> a cheerleader. Cheerleader is better. Show us a cheer. Babe. I listened to you even if you didn't. I heard you. All right. <laughs> now, Marzi here, I want you all to have a good look at Marzi. And as you look at her, I want you to, if you don't already know her, you will. But what I want to know is, what do you think her channel is about? Got it? Okay. Marcy, please tell them. So my channel, Slice the Series, is about a female serial killer. <laughs> we're in our first season, but we're almost ready to shoot our second season. We're going into pre-production pretty much after VidCon is over. And you should totally watch it and see what kind of mysterious things happen. I think that is so interesting. I can't believe that I got to meet somebody who was doing something that yeah. exciting. So you've always been a filmmaker or? I've always wanted to be an actor and I... You followed, are. I am. Well, yeah. this is from the beginning. I always yeah. wanted to be an actor. And then as I started pursuing that, I realized in the time that we are living in now, we have a superior advantage, which is self-creation, yep. self-producing, and I tried doing the best friends, living in New York, and like, come on, that's so over. So a friend of mine got together, and I got together, and we came up with this idea of like, how to put more women in film and do unexpected things that you wouldn't necessarily expect from female characters, and we're rolling with it. I think that is so interesting, and Craig, as the cheerleader, mm -hmm. I gather of Marzi, right? Of course. Hang on a second. Hey, hey, hey. You've got to meet these people. Oh, I'm Hi. Okay. Hey, I'm Sean. Marzi. Nice Marzi. Nice and Craig. Craig, good to meet you. Yes.